The second important aspect is tasks and how to describe tasks, how to translate your message, your business message, your vision over to your team and make sure they understand it and execute it properly so there is no miscommunication. Start off with the, right, with the right structure for your task. The task has to be written in a way that everybody can understand it. Not only a developer, but also a QA person or your partner or UX designer. So we usually break down tasks into three pieces. Uh, the very first piece is user experience. What your end user would expect from that task to happen. Let's, let's talk about a, let's say, Facebook login button in uh, an, an app, in a mobile app. A good example would be a user experience would be a, a value statement that is when, as a user, when I press on this Facebook button, I should expect um, a Facebook login dialog to pop up and uh, when, I approve, when I approve the uh, permissions, it should kick me back into the app and uh, log in to the home screen. That would be a good example, a high level example that you understand, your partner understands, everybody can pretty much understand what it is, right? You press a button, there is dialogue, uh, you approve Facebook uh, permissions and goes back into the app, logs you in and you're on the home screen. The next step, you have to write down definition of done. Like it really, we really call it definition of done. What would be considered for this particular feature, a button that does that, to be done, you know, it has to look like inspect, inspects and in, in the UI, UI design. Now, things might be uh, when you, um, it has to be clickable, it has to look like, you know, look like in the designs, and uh, when you click on the Facebook button, it should log, log you in into the app, and you should see the home screen when you click that button and uh, finish your login. That's, you know, acceptance criteria. I mean, the definition of done, very important, uh, because everybody, everybody has to understand what it means for this feature to be done. And the third one is acceptance criteria. When do you accept this feature? User experience, I mean, the, the user story, what, users, what end users expect from, from that feature. Um, definition of done, how would you consider when this feature is done? And acceptance criteria, what it means that you will accept that feature. Like, when do you accept that feature? Which pretty much means that it's been accepted, we can move it over from in progress to done and closed. And uh, in the last part, we usually do, if it's a visual feature, it has to be shown on a demo at the end of the sprint, and it has to pass all the UI tests and regression tests, and uh, you know, it has to pass, usually it's the same stuff, but uh, for, for server-side related issues, it might be a little different, but uh, for visual stuff, pass demo, uh, pass all the tests, uh, visual tests, uh, functional tests, and uh, regression tests. I have that structure. I'm going to put the link down below so you can kind of you you would see that structure uh, easily. And uh, we usually use a template that we've created a while ago, and it just works throughout the whole the whole you know the whole company and uh, different projects. Very helpful. Gets on the same page, creates a process, and. Uh, helps you to move forward uh, fast, everybody gets on the same page. You scale up really quickly because there is like, nobody thinks how to, how to describe a feature. Everybody knows what to expect. You're kind of speaking the same language and uh, with, with your team. I think it's very important. Great stuff, that's how you split up tasks. Now, I've already mentioned, but you would split your tasks into smaller pieces so um, a person can take on two or three tasks a day, no more than that. If you think it's a bigger task and it will take eight hours or six hours or 12 hours, consider splitting it down to smaller pieces. Like, literally sit down and split down it to three different pieces that uh, you can measure and describe separately and uh, um, make a developer to work on those three issues and uh, three tasks. It's very helpful because developer can get a sense of achievement, is achieving a small task encourages a person and uh, creates a better mood, so it also helps to relieve stress. Um, 
rather than working on a long task without having that feel of accomplishment. And uh, it's, it's, it's more of a mental thing that uh, you kind of have to think about as well. Uh, starts with a little thing, accomplish one thing, and then move over to another thing. You have that feel of accomplishments. Very, very important for the team building. No, nobody really um, thinks about it that way, but I think it's, it's extremely important to make sure that your team is happy and uh, they know they're, they're moving forward, they're making great progress and accomplished tasks. You will be getting those status updates, what's in progress, what's been completed yesterday, what are they working on today, is there any, any blockers? And uh, that's what you'll be getting those statuses on those tasks uh, that people will be taking on every day. Hope you guys have a better understanding of how to organize your startup, how to ease the stress level, and how to put a little more structure around a young business and a young startup. Hopefully you liked the video, leave comments below. Comments are vital. Ask questions in the comments and I'll be answering them in the next videos. Subscribe to my channel, comment on videos, ask questions, and we'll answer them.